Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing uh, the Mjolnir. The Mjolnir is the Grasshopper Hero Mac. And um, I really like it because it is a grasshopper which has a ballistic option. And as you might tell, we are building a Gauss Rifle Grasshopper today. Now, what is the build all about? We have the Gauss Rifle in the left arm and then we have six medium lasers. Just straightforward Gauss medium laser shooting. I'm not going for extended range medium lasers here because I consider this thing as a mid to close range build. Although we have the Gauss Rifle. But let me tell you this, we only have one Gauss and the Gauss... Is, uh, is a great sniper weapon. You can you can play with that uh, on long range at about 700 meters. Great. But we only have one. And that makes it not really a good long range build. Therefore, and also the, the mount is very low. Um, therefore, I only use the Gauss rifle as a very cold ballistic weapon and um, yeah, to, to manage the heat in this build here. Because we only run four double heat sinks for six medium lasers and um, that's just the reason. So the lasers consume the heat and the Gauss rifle is more or less heat neutral and can fire all the time. And we have the option to engage early with it. We got two jump jets. We got the light engine 325, which is cool because we have a 75 kph speed on the Mac. And uh, we have a lot of armor. Yeah, this is uh, kind of the interesting thing about the Mjolnir. It has a huge amount of armor quirks and it is super Super sturdy and uh, you can play it as the tank and therefore again I want to be somewhat on the mid to front line. The skill build is uh, very straightforward as well. We have laser duration here, we have magazine capacity here and then a bunch of heat gen. Nothing fancy here. This is just again the good old more or less laser vomit build plus magazine capacity. I'm going for almost maximum survivability here. Uh, go for the armor nodes as your first priority because they amplify the armor quirks that you have and then later on if you want more hit points in general take the structure quirks as well. Skills not quirks. Uh, no mobility no jump jets but full cool run here and we are going for double cool shot because I like to be very active with the build. As I said it has a lot of armor so use it for the benefit of your team. And um, yeah that's the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming as always if you ha have that. Don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing Polar Highlands. We are playing Escort. Ugh, Escort is difficult. Now, I have to say I don't like this game mode too much. Let's go for this guy. Hi. Uh, actually, let's drop artillery over there. Sure, why not? Uh, we have the Gauss rifle that can hit the, uh, the Orion there a little bit. Let's go for the side also if we can. I think I hit... No, I actually hit the side also. That was nice. And yeah, we have... Mm, we have a lot of... lot of ammo. I should be active all the time with that. Um, however... Getting an angle on these fools is a problem. Oh, the missiles. Yes, sure. Now I know why we are playing Polar Highlands. Ah, go away, missiles. Are you still shooting me? Mm-hmm. The problem with this here is, with this whole situation, um, is that the VIP is running. Please, come on. Can't. Just can't. I'm, I'm gonna retreat from this. That's an urban mech. Ah, we are down by two already and the VIP is already halfway through. So that's bad. That's really bad. I'm so annoyed by this map. I'm so annoyed by this game mode. Let's go for something that is closer to hit. Okay. Try to hit properly here. Hey, we got that. Let's kill the Thanatos. It's actually an archer, not a Thanatos. Okay, we go for it. Not enough. No, we got him. Okay, so, as you might tell, I got a lot of armor. And I don't, I mean, I don't mind using that. If you have armor, you better, nah, you better use it for the team. So where is my Orion? Where are my Orion brothers? It's a bad, bad, bad thing. Oh, I just realized I went to the wrong spot there. I need to find where, where the damage Orion is. And I need to try to take out his right side also. Yeah, okay. Problem is, we have no idea where the VIP is. Didn't find it yet. Okay, we have an Annihilator kind of pushing. Okay. We cannot hit him with my mediums. Oh, there he is, there he is. Mr. Bravo. Okay, King Crab first. There's the Bravo guy. Didn't hit his side also there. 
Ah, oh, come on, guys. I need to get closer. But the missiles. The missiles. Can we push them, guys? Is that possible? Come on, guys. Let's get rid of these missiles. Let's go in. Okay, so now we got some, some air to breathe here. Okay, we got that. We have 11 shots left. Oh, that's so crazy. Okay. Bit of damage there. <laughs> we are getting there. But the VIP is out. Yeah, that's my Bravo guy. Finally. I'm missing all of my shots. So where's the dropship? Where the hell is the dropship? Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, I like the fight here. The fight is great and we are slow, slowly getting the upper hand. But... No idea where the VIP is. Can't tell. Okay. Five shots left. We are just going for the kills here. Completely ignoring the objective. What a fight. Okay, that was a good hit. And he's down. Okay, let's uh, somebody else deal with him. Uh, actually, there's a guy behind us. What's that? Uh, okay, let's go for this guy. Uh, he is more or less, more or less, I say, damaged. Got my leg, though. I got his life. And now there is an urban mech harassing me all the time. <laughs> okay. Okay, Irby. Y you win the game. You win. Absolutely. Good job, man. I think th it was him who was going for my leg. Okay, so th we have still the problem of not knowing where the VIP is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is there any dropship? I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is just... It's just Polar Highlands Escort. It is a map and game mode that highly favors the defender because the map is just so big and you cannot cover everything and as soon as the VIP is, is out... As soon as the VIP is half through and you haven't found him yet, it's over. It's over. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Here's Irby. Got some damage in there, but it's not enough to take the kill. So, yeah, any idea where he is? I mean, it's probably too late anyway. The drop is inbound already. So, yeah, I believe the Irby would regroup towards the dropship or towards his friend. Oh, hello. It's the Orion. Is this a, is a fresh Orion? No, not really fresh. Fresh-ish. There goes my torso. Got him. And that's Irby. Okay. So, we have every opposing forces wiped out. Oh, there he is. Hotel 6, Hotel 6. Hotel 6-ish. There's the dropship. We see it. But where's the VIP? Okay, let's jump up. Can I get an angle on him? Mm -mm. He's probably out. Yeah, enemy team calling GG already. And this is it. This is the problem. There is no more. Oh man, that was a tough fight, I have to say. But in this scenario, you could really see that you can play the tank for the team in the Mjolnir and uh, absorb a lot of damage for them. Anyhow, three killing blows, uh, seven assists. We got two kilomost damage dealt with 721 damage and eight components destroyed. That's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Domination on the Grimplexus and we go to the circle and then we shoot everybody. That's the plan here. Now, early game, we can actually poke people. However, it will be difficult because the people are coming from here, over here, into this area. And it's really tough to get an angle from this area into, into the trenches down here. So, um, if I push forward real hard with my 75 kph, I might... And I repeat, I might be able to hit one enemy. But um, most of the fight will happen in the Fox 7, Golf 7 area. So this is what I mean. Uh, this is the trench that I'm talking about. Like like this area there. You can cover this. But not really, because again, you are too far away. And this is probably my only shot that I can get. I don't even see anybody. So yeah, we got leg damage. We damaged something. That's good. I always say only damage is good damage if it's on the enemy team. <clears throat> okay, anyhow. So we jump over here, over the little trench, and um, then I think I want to... Uh, first of all, I want to wait, and um, th then I want to go to the Golf 7 area. I want to go to the right side. Okay, 
Th that's a lot of missiles that you have there. I am mildly afraid of them. And yeah, as you can see, my teammates are obviously rotating in there. We have a problem here. The early rotation uh, makes it so that our assault mechs, uh, our assault mech, we only have one, um, will struggle to follow up on that. That was good. I'm happy. You know what? I'm gonna drop in artillery on you as well. The weird things with my sound there. Ow. And we need to pull back. <laughs> that is... I don't know if that trade was good or not. I think it was not. Red smoke in right side. Golf 7. Golf 7. Red smoke. Scatter a bit, guys. Oh, especially the flea should move. Oh, no. Getting hit by artillery is devastating to you, little one. Okay, we jump up again. Oh, there's nobody there. Okay, so... Phew, difficult. Difficult to get an angle here. We got this guy, at least. And uh, I'm actually unhappy that I already used my artillery strike. This situation would have been way better. Okay. Nothing there. But still, we are having jump jets. We have a lot of jump jets in our team. So, we jump up again. Okay. Kill the Atlas Foxtrot. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Ah, uh, we couldn't get a kill. But we got another artillery strike out. Somebody dropped it there. Nice. It's also an Annihilator. Okay, now I know what you are afraid of there. I think we destroyed something from the Atlas. Maybe a Sight Torso. And there's the kill afterwards. Yeah, I know I'm missing a lot of my lasers because of my jump jets, but I played rather defensively right now. And um, I'm happy if I hit something. Ah. Uh, here is the, here's the Gauss Rifle shot. Nice. And we are killing them. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. Let them... Not rec Oh, actually, behind us. Sorry, behind us. Woohoo. Let's get this off the, the field. And then we completely defend the, the left side. Oh, I wanted to hit that guy. Obviously. We can go for the bigger guys. Deal with the little ones later. And here's the first cool shot. I think this is a reasonable timing for it. What about the... Okay. Hello, Mr. Cheetah. Try to hit your leg. I couldn't. And uh, honestly, guys, guys, don't rotate. They are completely behind us. What, what are you doing? Stop rotating. Come, come back. We can hold this. Oh God. Okay, so I need to reposition right now. Okay. I'm sorry, man, but uh, uh, wow. I panicked for a reason, for a good reason. The Wolverine is caught, Bravo. Okay. Ah, oh, poor little. Mm -hmm. Six and four. What about this guy? Ah, he dropped down. What about the, the Bravo guy? That was him, right? Yeah. Second cool shot here. Okay, we got the kill on this guy. My, my aim is a bit off right now. That was good. And the kill. Good. The heat is high. And uh, we are ahead though, so... Getting the Gauss on point is not easy. The blind shot, there's a light mech. Where is he? Uh, just right behind me. Okay. Some, uh, just right behind me. Or am I on top of this guy? <laughs> I had no idea. Or maybe he was on top of me. It was an Arctic Cheetah jumping around all the time. Difficult here. Um, I mean, we won it in the end, but I was freaked out when my team completely rotated away from us, although we could have easily defended that position. Anyhow, we won it in the end and that's what matters, right? We got one killing blow, we got uh, nine assists, one kill most damage dealt with about 600 damage and five components destroyed. That was your daily dose, everybody. That was the Mjolnir, the Grasshopper Hero. And if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.